Hey y'all, yes I know, long time no see. Let's just jump straight into the hair and we'll talk about where I've been. Now, I am starting today by giving, this is my friend Melissa. Melissa is my marketing director and she plays a big part in Deeper Than Hair. And we're going to take the Honesty towel off her, you know our microfiber towel in the color gray. Um, I use that to just soak up most of the water because we are about to put a rinse on the hair and you don't want the hair soaking wet when you apply the rinse. Now, some of the benefits of a rinse is it will enhance your color. Most of us have dark hair. Um, it enhances the color that you have already. It gives you extreme shine. It appears fuller because of that deposit. It covers the grays and it also adds vibrancy. So I'm telling you, rinse is a safe alternative. It's, you know, safer than permanent color because permanent color strips the hair while rinse just adds a safe deposit down sometimes it's even conditioning i love how um rinse conditions my hair so you know don't be against it just try it i like using gray solution i'm using the color 3n i want to say i think that's the darkest brown um i didn't want to make her hair too black um and i just wanted to give her that shine you know so her hair is already brown but it's got like a her ash tone to it so i just wanted to you know get that joint going <laughs> Now, while I work this color in, let's just talk about where I've been. I have been living my life, okay? So last year, if you remember, I took off in May because I had COVID the whole month of May. I was super sick. But this year, I just was suffering a little bit of burnout. And I just was like, I need me a little break. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I need a break. So I just took a couple trips. Um... And I just took some time out for me. That's why today's message was, you know, it's okay to take a break because, you know, if you're just doing too much, it's not good for you. So if you feel like you need a break or just need some time or need a vacation, do it. Take two, three, do what's best for you. I think every year I might just take off in May. It was my birthday month and I'm just super grateful. So it's like, I feel like when I take breaks, I always come back stronger. So that's what I just decided to do. And, um... And I hope that I've inspired somebody that's listening or somebody that's watching to do the same. So she sat under the dryer for about 30 minutes with her color and then about 20 more minutes with conditioner. I shampooed it out and now I'm taking our satin shield heat protectant because I'm about to use the blow dryer. So I don't want to blow dry her hair or apply any heat without using a heat protectant. I'm wearing gloves today because listen, my nails are cute and they got white in them. And when you have white nails, they will turn real crazy real quick so i was like i'm gonna just keep my gloves on while i do her hair i wouldn't necessarily do this with a client or honestly i never even been in a situation before when where i didn't want to mess my nails up or whatever but this is my friend and the gloves feel regular on her hair some people i like remember feeling like gloves just because if if you ask somebody in the comments matter of fact we could talk about this Sometimes people feel like they can feel gloves pulling, but we use the satin black gloves and they're just so soft and smooth against the hair. There's no friction at all. So just try them. I'm going to try to find, try to find a link for you guys to buy the black satin gloves because they are so smooth and soft. Um, yeah, so I was just protecting my white nails, child. But so look at, um, this is Melissa's hair, her texture. You see her pretty curls down here while I blow dry. There's no product on it outside of the heat protectant. And um, I'm just taking our blow dryer and I'm going to blow her out as straight as possible. Now, I'm blow drying Melissa's hair in thicker sections than usual. You know, I usually would break this pretty much in half, um, but her hair is more on the finer side. So I decided to do bigger sections because it'll make her hair appear much fuller.
Now, Melissa is going through a little something with her hair. Last year this time, um, she went to a salon and not only did they cut a lot more hair off than she needed off, but they also like overheated her hair. So I would say, I don't want to say it was like heat damage, but it definitely was broken down way too much. And, you know, Melissa, as you see, she has the type of hair that you do not need to put more than one pass. Nobody to me needs more than one pass, but she definitely doesn't. So as a result, because she's been traumatized by this haircut, she still hasn't gotten it cut again. So, you know, a lot of people, when they go through something at a salon and somebody cuts a lot of their hair off, it takes a lot for them to go get it cut again. So I made up my mind that I'm just going to stay up on Melissa and keep her hair intact. I'm not nearly taking as much as I could have taken because when I tell y'all, she just was like, my hair is so short. My hair is so short. My hair is so damaged. It's, it's stressing her out. And I've been there before and I know a lot of us has been there before. So I'm just going to gradually do Melissa's trims um, just to get her hair back in shape the way that it should be. Now, her hair... Her hair is also not trained. She's just been wearing braids a lot. So her hair is kind of flipping up on the ends. That's why it doesn't look as sharp of a cut as it usually does. And I cut the inner layer of her hair off camera. So what I'm going to do now is just going to give her a low maintenance style. And we are going to give her a payback ponytail today. Now, as you see, I have not pressed her hair. I didn't press her edges. Melissa does not need any of that. Her hair will lay slick by itself. Um, even if your hair doesn't lay slick, if you are the type of person that just wants to lay your hair down in its natural state, do that. If you're the kind of person that likes it super silky and slick and you need to put a little heat on the edges or all throughout, do that. Whatever works for you. But I am laying her hair down with Braid Bay. okay? I know y'all see me use it in a few videos. I will put a link below. I love Braid Bay, and I'm using this little brush at the shop. We call it the Little Devil. But I'm using this little brush to slick it down and make sure that her hair is laying nice and neat. So I'll put the link for Braid Bay below. Um, you can use it on any texture. It'll get you right, okay? And, um, and yeah, I'll tell you the next product in a sec. One thing I also like to do, I like to take a um, small tooth comb and just go throughout the hair because a lot of times you got to get some of those kinks out, especially more so where the base of the ponytail is going to be. I like to take a fine tooth comb and make sure that every hair is in place. I'm also taking a little bit of baby hair out, but I'm not giving her baby baby hair. I'm giving her the natural baby hair that real babies have. <laughs> Now I'm going to go ahead and take a ponytail holder with no metal clasp and I am going to get that ponytail going. Um, sometimes I feel like it take a million years to get a ponytail of child. My arms be tired whether I'm doing my own hair or somebody else's hair but I just be needing that ponytail perfect and laid. Okay I don't want no lumps, no bumps, no nothing. I just want it right.
Now, once you have that ponytail set, you just want to take the hair and put it in one big braid. Now, I think the last two times I did a pony, a payback pony on my channel, I left the hair out. This is the first example of doing it with a bun. Now, I chose to do Melissa's in a bun because she is getting a straight payback pony today. Uh, if she was getting curly hair, I probably would have wet her hair and blended it with the curly hair. You know what I'm saying? But I just feel like, first of all, Melissa's hair needs to be protected. I don't want to do anything extra with her hair. I just want to literally put it away. I just kind of, this isn't necessarily a protective style, but it's a, a low manipulation style. So this is exactly why I chose to do a bun on her instead of a pony. Now, if you look closely right here, you can see straight down to Melissa's scalp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some Murray's Black Beeswax and I'm going to put it on those spots and I'm going to show you how you can help camouflage that. So you're just gonna start by putting it on all the spots that you kind of want to hide, okay? This is just a cute little trick and it's going to help get rid of those spots and not make them so noticeable. Now you're gonna take the comb and use the, the teeth side first, right? Lay that product in and then you flip the comb around and use the back of the comb to make it lay flat. You see how, see that how that scalp is disappearing? Okay, period, don't play with us. <laughs> like, it's just a cute little way to get that scalp, you know, camouflage. Just put the product on whatever spot you're trying to hide. Comb it in first with the, the tooth side. <laughs> and then flip it over on the back and just lay it nice and flat. See that? It doesn't make a huge difference, but it definitely helps a lot. Okay, so try it and let me know how it works for you. I like to do this trick behind the ear because that's where it's a little more critical not to see the scalp. All that by the hairline, it's supposed to kind of do that. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like it looks more natural if the hairline is a little lighter than the rest of the hair. But again, if your edges are thin and you feel like you need to try that trick on your edges, do it. See if it works for you because I'm pretty sure that it'll help a lot. Now I'm just unveiling the payback ponytail. You you know the vibes. I hope you watched our videos um, on the payback ponytail. I've done two thus far. And I am just pulling out the packaging and I'm showing you this. It's just the ponytail, the Velcro strap, and then the coverage strip. And then I'm going to show you it has two combs on the inside. One at the beginning, one in the middle. And then I am just going to apply this ponytail right now. So I'm just gonna start by taking that middle comb and putting it right down in the middle of that bun and laying it flat into it. And then I'll take that first comb and I'll just wrap it, well, clamp it into the bun as well. And now I'm gonna take that Velcro strip and I'm gonna pull it around tightly and I'm going to attach it to the base of the ponytail. And then I'm gonna take the remainder of that hair and I'm gonna use it to cover it. Now, I was trying to figure out what product I wanted to use today. I was like, give me some old school pump it up. You remember pump it up? And when every time I smell it, I think of hair school. Like when I tell you my hair school smelled like pump it up, as soon as you walked in the door, the spritz is no joke. Okay, that, that spritz right there is some gangster spritz. So I had Anna pass me the pump it up and I just put it on that remaining hair that I'm going to use to cover this Velcro strip. And it is going to make sure that is laid in place.
You're just going to take their hair and lay it around like a ribbon. So I use the um, straight payback pony on Melissa in the length of 18. We also have kinky ponytails and we also have the water wave. So you can pick whatever texture that you want. Um, all ponytails are four full ounces of 100% raw hair. So that means it can be straightened, curled, colored, whatever. Okay. <laughs> and, <clears throat> you know, I just... I feel like they're just perfect for the gym. They're perfect for the market. They're perfect for parties, red carpets, all in between hair visits. Like, come on. It's so perfect because it's the summertime. I said, oh, let me show them the payback pony one more time for the summer. You know what I mean? Because the summer is perfect for a ponytail. I feel like I get the most compliments in ponytails for whatever reason. Um, So right now I'm going in with my 22 Titania flat iron in the color smoke and mirrors. And they are in stock the everything's in stock the ponytails in stock the flat irons in stock the heat protectant the glass everything's in stock so if you want to slide on over to deeper than hair.com be my guest grab you whatever you need and um yeah i'm just gonna press her hair out so that you honestly could she honestly could have just left it the way it was because it it just had a little like natural wrinkle up in it from just being in the packaging but i felt like you know what i mean i'm gonna let her leave out looking perfect Another thing I love about this ponytail is you, you can place it anywhere. You can wear it high, you can wear it low, you can put it in a bun, you can braid it up. Just do whatever you want to it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's your world. I'm trying, trying to take a few more trips before the summer is out. Y'all got some suggestions of y'all favorite places. Um, just put them in the, <laughs> in the comments. I need some I need some suggestions. I'm trying to be out this summer. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hadn't really traveled since, like, the pandemic had started. And I just forgot what it was like to be outside, outside. You know what I mean? So, I really just been traveling and having a really good time. I also want to take my family away this summer. So, Anything like on the East Coast that you feel like is great for like kids, let me know that too because I really want to take my niece, my nephew, my goddaughter, I want everybody to come outside with me. I just feel like I missed everybody and I was missing just living, you know what I mean? So if you have any suggestions for me or me and my family, just let me know because I'm just trying to write it down on the list and just check them off. Okay, so Melissa is done, period. We just gonna take some glass brand shine and make sure that you know she's sparkling out there, you know what I mean? And listen, this 18 inches long. You see that? Like I, I'm mad because I don't know if I really showed you the bottom. I think maybe it might. Yeah. You know, 18 inches is long, and you can just alter that. Um, so you know the 26 is already almost slapping the butt. So if <laughs> you know, she's She's shaking it okay, you know. <laughs> That's how the ponytail make you feel, you know. You just want to swing that thing. Um, so yeah, you know, that's the end of this video. Listen, I might not have been posting, but I have been filming. So I have a bunch of videos to post. We are back to my regularly scheduled program, even though I'm going to be kicking it all summer. I'm still going to make sure that you guys get your videos. Thank you for being patient with the kid, and I will see you next time. Bye.